Hey there, this is Heisa here, and welcome back to my lord, let's play Rainbow 2 Lord of Maidens. So last time we had finished up Act 1 and pretty much cured Flan, and we have arrived at Act 2 at the Palace of the Earth Spheres, and we got to get through some of the first dialogue here. First of all, we've got Satori here, gotta to talk to her. In fact, we can all know that she replaces the, I guess, the Prince guy, whoever he was, who pretty much lived in the palace. So we'll see what she does. She has to say. If you're looking for welcome, you'll not find it here. Hmm. But I see you're already well accustomed to that. That that you don't know how true that is. Ah, oh, forgive me. I'm Satori Komiji, mistress of um, Chiridin. I apologize. It's difficult to stop myself from hearing the thoughts of others. I'll attempt to refrain from doing so. Thank you for bringing Koshi back. But by, by the way, she's always been prone to wandering off with all the chaos and troubles facing us. Now I've been genuinely worried about her. And then pause. I've heard that you already begun carrying a path, carving a path through the madness out there, seeking out the free. Marissa did pass through here not too long ago. Apparently, she was searching for the tomb of her old master, Mima. But I only spoke with her for a moment. But her mind was different, distance, altered. I don't know what she found there, but I urge you to take due caution. Whatever is behind this madness, it was enough to corrupt even the strongest of us. Well... Now if you excuse me, I need to return home. This trouble has left none of us untouched. If you need a place to stay, seek out Rumi Ari at the her tavern these. She also tell you more about a rather delicate task I could use a maid with. That's the end of that, so... Well, even this cover up the strongest of us? Well, I could understand... Um, it, be, it not being easy to corrupt Raymi or Sane, but um, Marissa, well, uh, I don't, I have no idea how resistant she would be to corruption. I have no idea at all. Maybe, maybe you viewers can tell me how you, how resistant corruption she would be. Now that Flan won't surprise Kumi on my travels, I will be able to take you back to the camp anytime you want to go. That's nice. Well, good talk with the rest, but let's just... Let's go and get ourselves a quest! A quest and we shall go! A horrible quest. A quest where we shall probably die on! Look, this is difficult to ask of you, but I have a... I, and more importantly, the city, have a problem that's ruined right below us. People are disappearing, it's innocent people, and I'm, I'm very sure it has to do with a missing friend of mine, Akasha um, Rin. Vassal to Satori is... She may have gone mad, like so many others. Please take care of whatever down there. And with Rin, please make it swift. And yeah, gotta pretty much kill Rin. Pretty much replacing um, the mummy guy, whose name unfortunately escapes me at the moment. And also, we are gonna be replacing our mercenary. But with what I, with my favorite mercenary. So I think the Act 5 mercenary also is pretty damn good in this mod. So we gotta talk to Sara. Everybody needs a guard, even the underground, even hell. That's my job, and you can be damn sure I do it well. I can lend you a few helping hands, but they won't come cheap. Some of the best guys around though, your call. I will be hiring one of the green guys. Highest level 19 is pretty much looks like it's high level already. Yep, I know how I'm hiring. I mean I never tried any of the other um types of um act two mercs, but uh, but yeah, I, I like the green ones. We get a hat, use. and you get a shirt. Guess we're gonna talk to Raisin, cause I gotta need to sell some stuff. Master Aaron told ordered me to come to Shred and watch he takes the princess somewhere safe. Who knows what sort of mess Ente will be if we can ever go home. And excuse me, I need to deal, I need to deal with a dog right now. Such is the pain of having a dog in your home. You have to always, can easily ruin a recording if I'm not careful, though I'm not even sure if you can be heard. But you, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt to check. Talk to her. Can I solve this? Repair nothing. Talk to Nurse, okay? The copper cube can do all sorts of strange things, whatever you put inside it. And I guess... I... I'm not, I'm not even gonna deal with that. It's a long... Long... I, I know anything about Decker Chain, but he talks about the, um... Roderick Cube. He talks for a damn long while. About all the things you could do with the damn cube. Greetings. I manage a gambling hall here, along with other businesses. The gambler is what you're most interested in, I gather. A companion of mine manages the apothecary here, though with how you look, I suppose you may not need her help much. And yes, I want a spear. Good spear. A 
a shovel. He can't use he can't use shovels. He can't use that spear either. Can't use any of these. It's gonna take a while. No, 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 I have to find something. And I don't even have to turn into a rare myself. That's nice. Oh, it's nice. 28 to Merc's that better than I can hope for. I can't use that. What? Can't use pole arm? I can... Re require level 20. Ah, he he'll get there. Soon enough. But for now, we'll get going. And let's not forget this. Would suck if I forget that. Let's move that. And prepare for the fighting the undead. Should be simple to kill, I think. Takes some time to kill, unfortunately. But yeah, because of that, that, that thing that he just made with the coins, it hurts like a truck. It's close range though, but when he uses it, it's a very powerful thing. It's very deadly. And yeah, you can see how strong he is. Plus, he becomes a bit more squishier though. He doesn't. He's pretty much if he doesn't cast that, can easily become screwed. But he should really carry me through most of the game. That guy is a uh, stone skin. Maybe I should not just stand there and take it. I can't. I can, I can stand here and take it. He's there. He, he can take damage for me. And he should be dead soon. Take the T. Don't need. Don't need to use my damage belt. Belt suckers. Suckers. I don't need no belt. Take the ring though. Rings are always nice. Mana shrine is nice. And um, let's see where we find. I think I found it next area probably because the. Damn it, let me shoot these guys. The next the place to do them slums level two usually is around the other entrance. From what from my experience, usually is. I'm not, not second. I guess it makes it easier to get to level two. Maybe that's the only reason. Who knows? Okay, but it usually seems to be close to it. Maybe maybe it just happens to be a coincidence through my every playthrough I've had. It just coincidentally, it's close. Nope, it is right there in a very very close talking distance. I can probably go out and you know try to get more levels, but uh, I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. So these guys maybe stop getting hit. I mean I can dodge right. Then I can steal you and you're dead. Don't do that much damage really, but I think I do. I do enough damage. And I don't even need that skill. Pick up some money though. Shoot you guys. Now, shooting every shot of my arrows. That's not the skill I was looking for, but I think I'll be fine. Just gotta hold my mouse button and the arrows will eventually hit. And then something was messing with me. Not letting me shoot anything. Ow. Very nice. This is gonna be not an easy, not a fun fight. Never like these burning archers. Burning archers kind of suck. Especially because they usually come be they're usually like in hordes. And you got a bunch of arrows coming at you, then you're them, they can they can kill they can kill you fairly quickly if you're not careful. Like me, I'm not careful at all. I know I refuse. I refuse to use my spells, which is a stupid thing. But eh, that's how I am. I'm an, I'm, an, I'm a fool of a took. That guy has mana burn. I don't like mana burn because I I, I I tend to, I play a caster a lot, and um, mana burn is not good for a caster. Not good at all. He hit me. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Almost. Just doesn't really matter. I didn't lose health, so maybe he didn't even hit me. Maybe he missed. Probably missed. Kill you. This guy should be dead soon. And yeah, that's, that kills him. Walk through the poison cloud, almost. Like being up pick up the combat, try more damage is nice. So and yeah, I think I stick to the combat until the wells off. Then I can. Then I probably no, I, will, I won't come back though. So yeah, I need to figure out what what sort of boots is this? That's a hunter one. That's for hunters. Not 100% sure um, what exactly sort of footwear um, the human Miko uses. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually though. It shouldn't take too long to find something that I can actually use. And continue shooting. I know there's an oyster somewhere. Like right, right here. He should be Oh yeah, I forgot. The most important thing. I can't believe I forgot what it. She's pretty much. Sewer code pretty much is necessary. Helps a lot. I have her here. God. Plus ticket, got TP scroll, that's always nice. And I got a waypoint, that's good, I can just go back and heal. You know they say, you can tell how skilled a Dota player is, based on the TP scrolls they carry. I'm carrying 30, clearly, clearly, I could win TI4. I think I, I think I could do it. Win TI4. 
how I, how I win it? Well, clearly, when they see, they'll be, they'll be laughing for so long, they won't be able to do anything, and they'll just win. Because they're all, because they'll, they'll laugh. And by horribleness, that's how I would win here. Well, I think I can do it. I wish. And the frogs. God damn it, the frogs. And hey, we found Slums level 3. But we found out where it is, but we can't exactly get there simple easily. Walls around the slums. This sort of thing is this. Uh, well, I may as well take it now. Because I just cause the combat just wore off. And yeah, the slums level 3. This is going to be fun. Really fun. See some glow and stuff. That's probably some skills of some burden mages. The enemies here, I think. No, I see one. I gotta shoot at it. And then it should be dead. Pick up a key. Why not? Burning mage. Burning dead mage. Hopefully they won't aim at me. Aim at the other people. Please. Can't hit you. Got a life fragment. That's always nice. Ah, uh, some huntresses over here. Some burning dead mages. The kill. Where's the frog? He's over there, I think. Then we some of the enemies over there. And I guess I just can't even click on you. That's fantastic. This is not good for attacking because I just start, end up click end up clicking on them. Instead of, you know, yourself on the enemy. You know I mean I don't see much of a point of having this buffing other players. I mean I guess I guess it makes sense because um you want to buff other players, but at the same time Let's say, let's say you're playing with a lot of players, that's a lot of people you have to buff, then that's uh... That's good, that would take some time. To do. And, and, and a lot of mana, this, this is not exactly... Uh, cheap, it's a hundred mana, that's um... That's three times back and cast this. Only three. And well, three is... Not... It's three players... At best. And that's a lot of mages who are now dead. I haven't leveled up yet, fortunately. I found armor, that was nice. He's wearing... He's not leveled up yet. No. I'm level what? 20. That's, that explains it. That's only 17 in books. That's just a lot more. Fantastic armor here. I need to summon Zuriko again. Then do that. Then I'll switch with this. Pick up the Grace Frame. I'm almost leveled up. I'm not even gonna... I, can, I think I can... I'll be fine. I don't need no potions. Who needs a potion? I don't even need that tea. See? I told you I'm fine. Yes, we'll be level 24. So I'll just steal that up. More. A lot more. Shuriko, it seems like it's gonna be a good companion. I hit the corpse. Not exactly what I wanted. Okay, you. Okay, I should really do this. I thought I could make do without it, but uh, apparently I was wrong. I can't. I can't make do without it. I mean, it helps. It helps if I could click on enemies, but I just move so fast. I just click one thing. Just completely click off them and therefore I move. I should really be using the shift a lot more. But how damn I fast I move. Now, I wonder where it is. I see red stuff over there. Could be mages, could be something else though. I hope it's not something else. It's just mages, okay that's good. It's a lot safer than what I was what I was the other thing it could be, though I'm not sure if that's um something that I can even see from a distance. Ah see cool, you unfortunately Unfortunately, Hassad it doesn't seem to be doing much. There's an HP on the rapid right. For literally no reason. I hate I hate that stuff. Hate it so much. I rent about it many times, but I can I'll rent about it forever. Because it really is a horrible idea. Hard. It's just it's like artificial difficulty. Completely artificial as well. Because it always always could become a big deal. And it's pretty much there just to screw you over with RNG. Got another corpse of ink. Um, pick up more TP scrolls, that's always nice. Not that, not, yeah, I guess it's, it's really not that nice though, I mean. Eventually I'm gonna be maxed on TP scrolls. I mean, you can hold 50 of these, I'm already at 32. That's gonna take a while. I mean, it's gonna take some time before I get. I'm probably not even gonna reach 50. I mean, I've reached it so many times. I mean, I can just I can just stop picking up TP scrolls completely because 